definitely, yeah. I just noticed that she has she has a cool moveset. Oh, they have a cool moveset because it's two and one. Yeah. Have Probably like my favorite DLC trainer, character moveset. Switch move. Especially that Mithra move where she like just dashes around them. Oh, I, dude, I don't want to talk about that because I I'm getting shades of which time and I'm not happy. Oh um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see when they come out. Yeah. We'll see. So game one of grants. We're gonna have an early end of Xeno tonight as we're gonna only play potentially one or two sets to decide the winner of today's tournament. Josh Stinson kindly, nicely in uh, winners. Pokemon fought all the way up through losers. They need to win two sets in order to make it happen. Yeah, I think I vividly remember um, Josh Stinson not winning the set when I was trying to eat food, so I'm not gonna bet on it. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't bet either. I, I think it could go either way between both of these players as they're both uh, set up etc. Combo masters, masters of their character's traits. Mm -hmm. Justin on a very solid Rob. Yeah. Pokemon, and one of the best villagers I've ever seen as a recent yeah. okay, in this game. Wow. Ooh, good pack. Good reactions. Yeah, it doesn't feel like Pokeland home holds onto those pockets for very long. Uh, it almost seems like every time he gets the, the pocket, it's a little closer. Catches the jump, but doesn't die for it. It's great. Hey, oh, we got good DI today? Oh my and god, we have, good... yeah. we have good DI in Grants today? That's crazy. Yeah, Pokeland's been showing off their DI, like, amazingly so, for the whole day, oh. and then they died to that. Oh. It happens. Yeah, yeah, the tree, yeah, the tree you know, definitely you know, helped. Really the, the tree definitely made him made him get hit by that. That, that was only the tree's fault. Yeah. Dan tree. Forward rocket comes out. Justin finds the gap and hits him. Potentially sets up for the kill. <laughs> Gets hit by that late rocket. Nice delayed recovery from Pokeland to make it back and avoid these kill setups from Justin. Justin jumping straight up just to avoid that tree. Goes right around, grabs Pokemon, goes with the up tilt, up air, doesn't kill. Yeah, and and right now it just seems like uh Pokelam, I was gonna say Pokelam is struggling to get center stage. Um, Pokelam eventually bullied his way to get center stage, but uh, it, it seems like yeah, jo Josh is definitely a lot, winning a lot of these neutral changes, and uh, and this air to air game, like air to air, and to air and Rob's snare, it doesn't look like it's working out for Pokelam too well. But um, you know we we'll, you know we'll see. We definitely will. Justin doing a really amazing job of avoiding uh Pokelam setups in the ledge, getting the right positioning too. Ooh. Did you see how low to the ground that <gasps> was? That was kind of wild. Yeah. Those are definitely one of the characters that have one of the lowest uh, moves they can throw out. I Possibly. I you know what? I've never seen a Rob land with forward air. And it goes to show you if you land with forward air as Rob, you die. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, note to all the Rob players, don't do that. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> lesson, lesson learned. Notes taken. You, you want to mix it up? No, you can't be big brain. Okay, just land with air. It's like, I want to be flashy. Oh my. Chan, just chop his head off. Still has an axe, I believe. Very threatening, <gasps> but the recovery. No oh, way! No way! And kills him in less oh than less than eighty. What? What? Why does he have that? <laughs> no way! That's insane. He killed oh, him so no. early. Is it gotcha? Oh, uh, got a forty? Oh my! Yeah. Wrong game, Devin. Goddamn. <laughs> oh, you ever try to edge on a character and die for it? That was a crazy <laughs> trade, by the way. It was pretty good to see the that trade happen and poke lemon get the kill. Oh, but man. Wow. One second. Three, two, one, yeah, we're gonna go. run it back. We're gonna run that back. Yeah, no, if I were poke lemon, I would definitely run that back too. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and already you see Josh then putting Pokemon at the end of the stage, and oh, and Pokemon's off stage again. And this is something that has looked like it's gonna, it's going to be a problem. Um, Pokemon trying to go off the stage and edge guard uh, Rob. 
Um, even though most time Villager can go off and contest a lot of these characters, it just seems like against Rob it's almost not worth it at times. Who's that? Oh, stood on the platform for too long with that forward smash and died for it. Yeah. Pokemon now down a game. Oh. See, Rob is definitely the perfect character with the right recovery to avoid Pokeland's ledge setups. He still gets hit by that one on the stage. Pokeland ties yeah. it up. Yeah, oh yeah, so guys, uh, you can land with Nair. Uh, just don't land with Nair into a bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't Start land on a bowling ball, period, period. That move just comes out and just smokes you. Smokes your life. Pro tip. Pokeland going a little high. Yeah. Yeah, and so you know what's crazy uh, about these bowling balls? Because even though the bowling balls uh, aren't really hitting Rob. It's making Josh and then go at a horizontal angle. So he's forcing him to go high so he can potentially hit him with like one of his aerials. Yeah, Pokemon chaining all these forward airs and back airs and stuff on, on Rob. Rob is a big enough target to get hit by them. Ooh, misses that one because the Nair came, came out and covered Rob's entire body. Uh oh. Swinging a little too fast in these bowling balls and Rob definitely knows they're coming so they Delaying that recovery and going high. Pokemon catches on to that. They can definitely take a stock here. Ooh, a smash still comes out. It's a party. Axe. Oh. You're yeah, ahead. I'm with Axe. Yeah, good stuff. Um, that's the second time that Pokelam has covered and covered a mash option Ooh. by Josh then with uh, with a landing attack. But... Oh man, he would have died like super early to those forward airs. That would have been insane. Yo, the, so, so like, so villagers up smash combos at early percents then, god bless. Yeah. Learn things every day. <laughs> oh, Pokemon chose the delayed mash there. Yeah, so, so far Pokemon has chosen delayed mash and the best. You remember what Barra said earlier about landing on someone with an air like that? <laughs> <laughs> so it definitely happened again. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're three. We're so we're three for three on that right now with um, uh, landing nares into hard punish. I, that was literally three for three that game. Wow. Yeah. I just want to point something out at the beginning of that because you guys mentioned uh, the no mash. The no mash is supposed to get caught by up smash, but little tiny baby was in between the launch boxes <laughs> right here. Right? So he didn't get hit by it. But Rob can make that connect if he were to have done turn around up smash. Because the only reason I know this is that Squirtle does the exact same thing to Rob until <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, I see you. And then turns around and does it. I'm like, all right. But yeah. yeah let it be known. Thank you, Devin. Also, thank you for showing us uh, Rob cheeks. Yes. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Game three. Yeah, we saw Pirate Peaks. Now we get to see Rob. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Just pretend Rob is Pyro. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> they boxing. <laughs> we boxing, boxing. They boxing, boxing. I know they have the ESP impact. Yeah. Definitely played a little bit of Mike Tyson's punch out there for like two seconds. Let's go punch out. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> double roll in. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go in, in, no matter what. <laughs> Scoops We're him right <laughs> off the stage! What a move! What a fantastic move that Rob has. What a good move. What a, what a great move. <laughs> not ironically, that's actually a really ridiculous move. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and um, just like we were talking about before, seems like uh, Josh is a little bit deterred with throwing out that up smash, so he just went for the jump option. Ooh, shoots and a lane. Moves. Yeah, he probably doesn't know that turnaround oh. up smash will let make it hit. Oh my god, yeah, you ride that. Oh, boy. what a commit, what a commit. This. Oh, he died. So lucky. That was the most like fortunate luck right there. If they, if they got caught in time, they were dead. And they're still dead. <laughs> yeah, you Sure. Yeah, they tried to set up not remembering that Bob, Rob is still involved from that uh, angel platform. He just runs right through and just kills him for it. Ooh, shoot him! He's big! Shoot him! Shoot the target! Yeah, and uh, Josh then learning from his past mistakes and not narrowing into Pokemon while he has out the Pokemon. So, there's a shield. Push him in the- <gasps> oh, yeah. 
big much. damage, big combo. Kills the robot. Another one. Nothing. Pokemon, you, you go, you're going to hand, bro. <laughs> oh, nice. Just cancels it on top of the platform there. Just a nice little recovery. Rocket tree. Yeah, and right now, Pokemon is just making it very hard to catch. Um, Steals the gyro. Oh, goes right in with the down tilt. Pokemon did Lloyd Rocket a little too close. Oh! Thank you for the follow. I'm a bunny. Yo. I'm a bunny. Oh, oh. I got this. Ooh. Thanks for the follow. I am a bunny. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm bunny. You know what? I, I really hate your bunny voice, Devin. I swear. <laughs> 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 Please. We're trying to commentate. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and Josh has been throwing out so many nares. Just trying to get in any way he can. Ooh, it doesn't get the luck off the turn up there. Only at the one. Oh, no. that was a chance to kill. Yo, oh my god. Pokemon wants that roll in so bad. He's just like, look, I'm going to throw out a Lloyd, and I know you want to roll in. Oh, I know yeah, you want to roll in. scoop. The, a the nair. I thought it was an axe. Definitely takes the stock right at the edge. Wins. Ends it 2-1. Josh isn't looking to take this to the true finals right now. All the momentum's on their side. Yeah, that miss right there is just the end of the match. It's just like, oh no, not nah, I'm vulnerable. Yeah, I'm surprised at that whiff. Um, because it looked like he was gonna get hit by it, and um, looked like he he looked like he lost this um both of his stocks gambling on um on a side beat and just uh, got the worst end of the stick. True that, true that. Moving on. Game number four. Potential reset right here. See what Josh can do about it to keep up with Poke Lamb's momentum right now. The two turn up does 10%. Interesting. Okay. Both yeah, right, yeah right now, Pokemon is playing this game to keep away. Uh, really well. Choosing to exchange hands with the little villager, but realizing that the villager also got hands as well. Mm. Oh, swings at him! What, what an angle! Oh, slapped him, slapped him away from the tree. A little fly swatter over there, smacked him out the sky. <laughs> that is, I don't care who you are. That is still scary to see, like a villager on a platform just throwing bowling balls. You did. You definitely get scared to approach that. <laughs> yeah, and I don't, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, and these villager bowling balls are um, so scary. It's gotten to the point where Joshton doesn't even want to recover long. That, that's that's the point we're at right now within the oh, bowling never. ball. You never ever want to recover low against villager. This <laughs> this situation is it's quite scary. He's going deep for this. He misses. He, he just pressed position. the A button all the way down to the blast zone. It's an out smash though. That scoop. Poke Lamb survives. Uses his own gyro just to get back on the ledge. And let me show you my ledge setups with this. Because I got them too. Goes super high, burns all their fuel. Yeah. And um Josh then going high to, to mix up um mix up his landing option. Ooh, chooses to go for down smash there. Snipes oh. him with the gyro. Oh, goes deep. Kills him, smokes him for that. Josh at them. Yeah, Almost this time going for the floor and not hard commit like side beam. Mm. Throw. Back throw. Not gonna take it yet. Yeah, DI makes up. Strong. Thank you, tree. Always taking my stocks for me. <laughs> Poke lamb evens it out. <gasps> okay. <Ooh>. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, I thought, I thought we were gonna see a peach combo. <laughs> Me too, I really did too. That was, or like a lane combo or something like that, like an item release combo. Yeah. I know Villager had those, that's insane. It's one, one block of wood. Jab lock? Ooh. Justin yeah, I'll have fun for a lot of those hard reads uh, off the jab blocks. 
very interesting how Jocelyn like reacted to that too. As they chose to roll in when they saw a, a poke lamb uh, dash forward. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, you definitely don't want to trade with that. That was a rough trade. That was such a rough trade. No, no Robin's definitely gonna burn through that tree, but still the axe is still Yeah, and I think there. right now Villager has the gyro. Because I think Rob just went just went to go poke a gyro and didn't didn't have it. Oh, pocket a gyro, that means this is really good for poke lamb. That's what yeah, I'm Yeah, because that's why he got that punishment now. He went to go get gyro and nothing happened. <laughs> The back air catching him on the platform. Now he gets his gyro back. Poke land coming right off the invincibility platform. Okay. Just That's sneaks right under, lands an up air. Oh, these nerves are coming in strong. Misses the scoop from the side B. Oh. Oh. Okay, with the forward air. Try to threaten the side B. Oh, I didn't take the bait. Just the knowing uh, how to avoid that bowling ball set of this. It's barely worked on him this whole time. Just, ooh, nice. Instantly throws it back at him. Bird, yeah, I feel like we established at this point, but if, if you're not within a uh, character's length distance of Pokemon, he's immediately going to pocket it or back. <laughs> on reaction. Every single time. True. <gasps> oh, the that was it. Gyro was just could have screwed him over. That Reset inbound. God. Poke Lamb resets the bracket. Ah, the gyro messed him up in the end. Yeah, I don't it. see. I don't think he expected to get that first bounce. Did he right? Rage oh, come here. Did he rage quit? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see who's still in the ring once uh, the loading screen goes by. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, actually, he's gone. Actually, you know what happened? Can we talk about that? So he had he got the first bounce, and the second bounce, Villager actually went over the gyro. He went too far, and then just tried to compensate with uh, the side beat. That blast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Flaps like, don't worry, I'll take his place. <laughs> wait, wait, did he? Wait, did he just BG's up? I mean, he's not uh, in the arena anymore, so maybe, oh. hopefully, he's coming back. But laugh my ass off. <laughs> If, if that's true, ah, that's, he's that'd be funny. He's, he's back. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought he just PG'd out. Like, all right, just, just needed a breather. Up. Probably like yank the switch off the dock real quick. Be like, you know. By the way, shout out to Flap for the one dollar uh, into the match arena. We are now what thank is you it, twelve dollars and thirty cents away from just six hundred bucks. So hey, 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 girl, hey. Uh, <laughs> I'll do the we'll voice. We'll be seeing y'all this Saturday. Don't do it. No, <laughs> no. You don't, you don't. Do it on Friday, then. Leave, no. leave for Friday. Leave for Friday. <laughs> True finals now happening here. We're going to have Poke Lamb versus Josh at the best tree in the final. I don't want to say I called it, but I called it. <laughs> you called it? I don't want to say it, but I feel like I did. Uh, Poke Lamb's definitely good enough to reset a grand, just one or two. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah. So we'll see what happens here. Um. They definitely kept it close. They, they definitely kept it even. This is probably depends on momentum and who falls or who setups first. Yeah. Um, it, it just seems like uh, after game one, uh, Pokalam has uh, picked up the pace a little bit and is making is actively making Josh chase him. Also, uh, the amount of times he's spamming bowling ball at the ledge has really spooked Josh to the point that I, he's, he's literally just not even he's not attempting to go to ledge anymore when he's off stage he's just trying to fly to the center of the stage like not he's not even trying not even attempting so that like that option is off the table for him to play. and um park lamb is just he's like okay bet all right i conditioned you let me just uh shoot just shoot my uh arsenal or whatever the hell is going on at you <laughs> also here's an axe because the tree is still there well here's the you axe gotta remember too. um the axe only comes out when the tree is fully equipped on the stage. Yeah. yeah only when the tree is fully erect. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one thing to remember in this matchup against Vulture. You do, you definitely don't want to be caught lacking when the axe is packing. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, we'll see what uh, happens this time around. Stages are being decided yet again. It's a reset, so we gotta go back to neutral. We gotta go back to game one. And uh, Josh, does Josh play any other characters? I feel like he does. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Palu. Palu? Yeah, Palu works. Palu can definitely help in this matchup. Palu is what put uh, Pokemon in, in losers. True, true. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna stick with the rod. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, definitely comfortable with it. Wouldn't change it. Definitely wasn't the problem for that set too. It was just One, go! a matter of getting the right things to work. So PS2 is our first stage. Just a threat with a gyro in his hand because they're definitely gonna get those Z, sorry, those Z drop Nair item combos. Scoop. Oh, goes for it again. <laughs> he definitely had enough fuel to go for it, but like, damn. You want to kill this man. Oh, he goes for it again. He's just like, ah, oh, screw it. Pots and pans. On the robot's head. Oh, no. That was very dangerous. Justin survives. Uh, late load rocket. All this damage. He's just getting shot. Talk about full stage jab box. Are we talking about that? Yeah. That's Roger. And slingshot. A smash out of shield. Kills. Wow. Yeah. I forget wow. that villager makes like no noise. So I couldn't recognize if they died or not. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Not even right, axe. Axe is in play. Justin's still swinging, still fighting through. Back throw off the stage. That's not gonna kill. Rob heavy. Lack of villager rage. Who catches them on the landing though? Had nowhere to go. Yeah, and and one thing that Jashin has continuously done throughout this set is that when he is throwing oh. at the top like that, and um, Pokemon's actually throwing hitboxes, he's almost he's landed on him almost every single time. It's like he's taking an aggressive option, it probably eight percent of the time. That was a nice catch up there from Pokemon, like a combo with that tree real quick for a quick forty percent. There, the shield. Yeah, that there is definitely a useful tool for Rob just to get in on Villager. Yeah, and it's a little unfortunate that I sent him in the opposite direction because I'm pretty sure Josh would have rather sent him off fade than that. Because now you have to deal with this. Bowling ball, axe, forward air, Lloyd rockets. Justin manages to jump right through and come back on the stage. Pockets the gyro, but <laughs> Justin wow. definitely used that as a page just to go right there and swing on him, and it worked. He Justin. threw three aerials at the tip of the blast zone. That's hilarious. The magic of Rob, you can always come back as long as you got enough gas. More, more gas in the state right now, too. <laughs> Trees out. Ah! No, sir. Cool your jets. The tree is gonna come out, no matter how hard you swing on it. Okay, this this is the last situation. Oof. Definitely for Proclam as they're down by a lot right now, 90%. Two good clean hits or that side beat. He's definitely gonna take the stock. Oh, Goes deep. Going deep against Rob without that risk of a help you have. You know, I have to say, Pokemon has not been close to dying once after getting hit with that up there. He's oh. got it directly almost every single time. They delayed get up and avoided death due to their small size. Oh, tries to catch the roll with the forward smash. Careful not to get sniped. Just had enough invincibility to tank that down air. Oh, God, that's so scary. Pokemon dude is to keep this momentum going, shoots the laser yeah, back, gets all the damage. Yeah, you, you just can't throw stuff at him like that. Ooh, anti air up smash. Okay, okay. If, he, if he tries to land in, he's gonna die. He's Again! Like, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, if you, I knew if he tried to land in him one more time, he was gonna die. That, that was it. Because Pokemon was waiting for that. Yeah. Pokemon has waited for that. 
since he got since his numbers became red. <laughs> what a comeback from Pokeland right now. Using the extra damage he got from the laser just to cook him enough for this up smash to kill. Close, yeah. That rage is farmed well enough. That was a good catch that smash, by the way. And and I, I feel like Pokelam is really showing knowledge of this matchup by the way he's DIing these up airs and the way that he's attacking Rob's Nair. Right? Sometimes you see people fall off of Rob's Nair sometimes and kind of let him get away with it. But he just doesn't care. He, he's actively punished that move with so many different options at so many different angles. You can tell he definitely knows this matchup. Yeah. Definitely had a season of finding good Rob's. Just enough to be prepared for this matchup. Oh, that, that is so demoralizing. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> so oh man, just hit you with that. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a like the perfect disjoint. It's just nowhere near his body. You can't punish him for like whiffing it. Oh, it's like um, like a thousand tiny cuts. <laughs> that was something. Oh, masterfully avoids that. No. Some nice air dodge skills. Ooh, nice. Combo's off with the pot. Josh isn't realizing the, situa the situation and just going high. Man, very scary stuff. He was definitely dead if Pokemon definitely got the momentum for that. Ooh, and let's like grab one up down to it. That's like plus a million, bro. You can't grab one. Mm. Pokemon, despite being vulnerable with that Lloyd uh, summon. Still just do it. Wow, what a punish. Yeah. Oh, don't be shooting lasers too. Yeah, and every single time with the quickness. Oh, just to throw him off the stage, pockets the laser again. You can't shoot this character. You just can't. Yeah, and at this point he's not even going and at this point he's not even going for going for the down throw. Cause um I don't think he knows that he would probably have to reverse the up smash if he calls out those are staying in the ground. I really don't think he knows. Oh, parried the last hit just to punish this? Oh, big damage. Whoa. They still have the jump. Chooses to go with him. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, what a sacrifice. Y'all trying to end this, huh? <laughs> like, y'all trying to just, just, just leave, huh? Trying to sleep before midnight? I see you. I feel you. <laughs> that, he went coast to coast, up smash at one end, and you got a forward air to all the way to the other side of the stage, and then just. Yeah, I don't know. I looked like he held down there. It was just, uh, yeah, I'm not winning this game. I'm gonna go for one last hurrah. You ain't, you ain't three stalking me, homie. You made JV, but you ain't three stalking me. So, um, so with that forward smash there, right? You know what probably happened. So you know how the ledge works, where, um, it goes by the amount of air time you have when going back to ledge. Since, since, it, well, since Pokemon hit him right back to ledge instantly, um. He probably didn't have a lot, a lot of invulnerability. So when he threw out that forward smash, his invulner invulnerability probably just ran out because of how, how little time he's in there. Probably why he died like that. Yeah, that ledge knowledge right there from Pokelam definitely helped take him all the way over here to a reset to the grands. Or you come with the match and get, you know. Um, up two games. And right, we're going to FD. This is Justin's last three chances in order to win grands today. One game, catches him with the side B, off the side, explode. Ooh. It's good damage, though. It's good damage. As much as uh, Pokelam wants to kill off the side, like, really fast with those, uh, Back airs and forward airs. Justin always saves the jump at the right time so to escape the last one. It's definitely yeah, not combo. Like, the the Ooh. Tech chases him with his own laser. Trips. Oh, yeah. Very rough situation. Good patience from Pokelam. There's right out the second hit. Tries to go for an up air there, but this is and gets scooped instead. Yeah. And okay. Wow. Yeah. And All Josh right. with a chain, cha finally a change of scenery. Um, with the two stack lead, maybe this is what it's he needed. This is definitely what he needed. 
just to get some peace of mind, just to try to fight back a little bit. Fight back, fight back. Fight back. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, we need a soundboard of that. We oh, actually yeah. need a soundboard of that. Yeah. I'll do it myself if I have to. <laughs> yeah. For my stream, at least. Not, not for this stream. This stream. <laughs> oh. It's both balloons. It still makes it back. Forward air chain. Yeah. It's down tilt, though. Boxing. Uh, okay, Super deep. Wow, that, co that was coverage. Ooh, nice, nice combos. Yeah, and I'm way back. That combo together with the axe to kill? Strong. Oh no, oh 33? no. 33? Oh. Bro, you gotta get away from that tree. Yo, we, uh, I, bro, we need to fight back, fight back, fight back. Fight back, fight back. <laughs> fight back. Oh, oh, no, no, not like up. that. Fight back. <laughs> Fight back! Let him get up! Fight back! No! Fight back! Fight with the three O's! Oh, Reset! Fight back! The true champion is Pokelam. Oh no! Taking the set with the bowling ball. Man, they definitely did fight back out of that situation. That was a potential three stock, and they just said, here. Hold my drink. I'm going in. <laughs> I, okay. Oh my, what a set. Like, uh, Pokelam is the swag god. Like he definitely proved it today by coming all the way from losers and winning the tournament. I, I honestly feel like. Give him another sub, Devin. <laughs> swag man. god, give, give the swag god another dub. Give him a give I him mean, a sub. he's already <laughs> subbed, so I can't. Well, give him another one. <laughs> give him a tier two. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Someone do that for me. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, because he definitely deserves it. <laughs> Pokeland, <laughs> good job today. We're definitely going to see you at the monthly. Same with everyone else that's registered today. Shout out to all you guys. And be sure to tune in for the monthly happening this Saturday at 4 p.m. Subs only. Yeah. So if you ain't a sub... You ain't in the club. Top eight payout. Potential for top 12 payout if we get 680, which we're close to. We're close to yeah. guys. Come on, just donate a little more. Use some coupon codes. Land adapters only. And yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it for today. We're